So for taping an ankle, there's two different ways to tape it. We can immobilize it, or we can just be concerned with driving cryotherapy into the joint and getting as much surface area coverage as we can. With immobilization, it's pretty easy. We want to just do a figure eight pattern around the joint so it doesn't move, okay? So we're going to take it, wrap it underneath, wrap it over top, around, back down again, crisscrossing over, good, and trying to get as much surface area covered as we can to provide effective cryotherapy for the area that's injured. And again, we don't need any pins or clips, a little bit of pressure, hold, and it self-adheres. The other way that we can wrap this, instead of just immobilizing it and driving cryotherapy into it, we can just aim for getting some good compression and some good cooling into the injured area. So we take the coolant tape right underneath and we wrap it right around. No special techniques, just try and get as much skin coverage as we can. And at the same time, when we're doing this, get some compression. Pull nice and tight, get it right around, and try and cover as much skin as we can. Good. Yeah. So the residual stuff that you're seeing here is just the hydrogel coming off of the, the coolant tape. It wipes right off. And is a key element in driving that cooling system of this cooling tape. Good, no pins, no clips, just a little bit of pressure, and it stays right on there. Does that feel nice and snug on there? Okay. Yeah. Another common injury that most, a lot of athletes suffer from is uh, shin splints. Coolant tape is fantastic for this. It wraps around nice, it conforms right to the skin and to that body part. It allows you to provide a lot of compression by pulling fairly tight and wrapping it right around. And you can go the entire length of the shin all the way up. Coolant tape also comes in a couple different sizes. So if you have somebody that's bigger, we have a thicker tape. Pull this right around. And again, there's no need for any pins or clips. Self-adhering, put a little bit of pressure, and it sticks. Got to hold it for a couple seconds. Good. And it sticks. For the knee, I like to use the thicker cooling tape. And for the knee, it's, it's nice just to wrap it around and try and cover as much surface area as we can so we can get any swelling that might be happening around the knee, including the MCL area, the LCL area, Pez Anserine, Baker cyst in the back. We try and keep it as long as we can, but in order for you to see it, I'll keep this knee bent. We'll start at the top, wrap around, and just Get some good compression, pull it tight, and just wrap it right around this whole knee. The nice thing with cooling tape too is that you can walk around with this stuff on. It doesn't limit your movement. You can do whatever you need to do and still ice and provide that cryotherapy to the injured area. There we go. So you just hold, no pins, no clips, and off she goes and she's there. The large cooling tape provides enough surface area to actually get that whole thigh and that whole 
muscle, nice and cool. Turn around. Good. And again, we want to pull tight, get a lot of compression, and wrap it right around that whole thigh. Good. Nice and easy. Again, pull tight. Put some compression, no pins, no clips. And she stays on. Starting. Fingers can be another area, of, a common area of injury. It's very easy to sprain your joints through here. Icing it and trying to do other activities while using like maintaining some function of your hand is actually quite difficult. Cooling tape actually makes that really easy and, and very convenient. You can wrap it around, provide enough compression, and get it right around both joints of the finger. All the way through. Perfect, thank you. In around through the palm and over the knuckle. Providing effective cooling and compression of those first two fingers. A little bit of compression, hold for a few seconds, and we've got our two fingers wrapped up. When you have a nice small wrist, you can even use this small cooling tape to actually wrap up your wrist and tape it up. Again, we just want to cover the skin, provide effective cooling to the area. Hold for a few seconds and it self adheres. This provides effective cooling of the wrist and still be able to move around and use your hand. We can also tape it in a more traditional fashion, immobilizing the wrist at the same time. Perfect. Wrapping around, through, and around this way. Perfect. Forearms are quite easy. Again, we just want to cover as much surface area as we can. Wrapping, pulling tight, providing compression, and going right around the full extremity. Perfect. Common injuries of the elbow include lateral and medial epicondylitis, uh, golfer's elbow and tennis elbow. I find cooling tape works really well to address those, those injuries and provides a lot of compression, a lot of cryotherapy right in those areas. And what we want to do is basically just cover that whole elbow. And wrap it, pull it nice and tight, come right around. Good, perfect, thank you. And try and provide as much compression as much cryotherapy in that area as we can. Good. Covering the elbow, coming all the way down. Providing a little bit of compression through here to hold it down. No pins, no clips. And there you go. And you can still move the elbow and use it and provide that cooling, that cryotherapy into that joint. Shoulders are a very difficult joint to, to, to ice. It's hard. If you ever injured your shoulder before, trying to hold ice on it, it's really, really cumbersome and difficult. You're sitting there, you're reaching around, trying to keep this ice pack there. 
you can't get all the areas of the shoulder. Coolant tape eliminates all those problems. Makes it very easy to wrap. Start from underneath, come around. It cools the armpit at the same time, which is also an important area to cool. And come right around the shoulder, right through, cover the AC joint, coming right over, and holding it down so it self adheres. How does that feel? Good. Still allowing for full range of motion.